spinach, egg white, feta wrap. My favorite little breakfast thing, aside from the oatmeal at Starbucks. You have a go-to breakfast thing at Starbucks? I don't normally get the breakfast at Starbucks. Um, but the... I think it's like, it's on a croissant with egg, bacon, and something else. I believe you're mistaking that for my mom. That was a bad joke. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction of Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you, Jersey Sports on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account, subscribe, and the like button. What are we doing today, Corbin? I don't know. What are we doing today, Corbin? I don't know. I'm taking my multivitamin. Today, uh, this is a, a video on um, how Indian miners escaped the mm. collapsed tunnel. So this is a guy. Is this the most, this is the recent thing that just happened? Yes. And so this is a guy actually going over why why they did what they did, why they couldn't do other things, why it took so cool. long. So he kind of goes in depth, um, and it's uh, at it. So I got sent this a lot. Um, and Great. He kind of goes over a lot of aspects of it. It was like, this is what they were dealing with. Great. This is why they couldn't just dig them out. This is blah blah blah, and all that kind of stuff. So he kind of goes in depth uh, into the whole. Tra Obviously, we, Very we cool. know about the tragedy and that they they escaped. Yeah, right? we you may have missed the video, but there's one video that's popped up where we talked about it right as it had happened when we heard that 41 of them had all all 41 had been saved. It, that's that is incredible. Incredible. Here we go. How far is 60 meters? Well, let me show you. It's far, so not that far. But if you're talking about being stuck somewhere and can't get out, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. I wish there'd been more info. <laughs> Half the video is gonna be him walking Doing with this a dramatic <laughs> effect. I like it. It does. Oh. That's 30 meters. That's as far as our tape measure goes. You'd have to double that in order to appreciate just how far hundreds of rescuers had to go in order to reach a group of 41 miners trapped in a collapsed tunnel. But they did it. They've drilled through 60 meters of rock, concrete, and metal, ending a 17-day roller coaster ride. What a story those people can tell, so man. How did they manage that? So this is a simplification of the challenge at hand. It's not to scale, but it gives you the basic idea. So the miners were trapped inside a mountain. The tunnel that they dug to get there collapsed, cutting them off from the outside world. The whole thing is meant to be part of a billion dollar expansive highway network. But since November 12th, when part of the tunnel collapsed, all of the focus has been on this. 60 meter wall of rock and debris. So why couldn't they just drill them out? I mean, they got there in the first place. Just do that again. Except the second time you go through, the entire equation has changed. The initial plan mm -hmm. to push steel pipes that would be wide enough for the men to crawl out of the debris have now failed. The rescuers' worst fear was that collapse. all that digging would trigger a collapse yep. in the part of the tunnel that's keeping these miners alive. Right. You know, they actually managed to drill a very small hole to the miners, a mini tunnel just big enough to squeeze through uh, food, water, oxygen, medication, walkie-talkies, that sort of thing. Light. And of course, they slipped through an endoscopic camera that gave us scenes like this. That's them in there? Kind of digging wow. When you're trying to protect what you're digging towards is risky. And the bigger the tunnel, the greater the risk of collapse. There's no structural integrity there. So it's like trying to, you know, dig through a pile of snow where you just don't know when it's going to fail or what's going right. to fail. Right. Great analogy. So yeah, everything has to be calculated and risk versus reward throughout the whole process. Some attempts were, in fact, delayed or called off because of falling debris and because the risk to the trapped miners was considered too high. But the other problem was how their drills kept breaking. The auger machine, which is very, very powerful, 
building this tunnel through the avalanche material, it's, it's finding it really hard and it's teasing us because we're almost, like we're only just metres away, but the machine is run out of, it's like a little bit broken. So one of the drills rescuers try to use is US made by American augers. You can see in this old YouTube video how it works. This is from a different company, but the premise is the same. You start by drilling a pilot hole about three feet across, and the earth you're drilling through gets channeled backwards through the pipe. You can weld on additional sections of pipe as you get progressively deeper and jettison the rock and soil out the same way you came in. But the second time you go through, you're not just pushing through rock anymore. Remember, this was part of a much larger tunnel project for an actual highway. So all of the concrete structural supports and twisted metal wow. were crushed by the collapse. Even entire construction vehicles pulverized. Oh, wow. Fire. Holy crap. And the things that we wow. see, like machines, like, see, big, like the big machine up on the hill. There's one of them in there. There's a big dumper in there. There's all these machines and there's the crushed tunnel. So we're trying to find a path through all of this and the rocks. And just boring through rock requires specialized equipment. It's already tougher than soil, clay, and silt, but throw concrete and metal into the mix, the whole process becomes more painstaking, more unstable, more dangerous. What makes this rescue operation so complicated is that they're not only dealing with rubble and debris, but they're also dealing with construction material, pieces of metal, and that's what the drill keeps getting caught on. The auger bits and the drilling machines are designed for usually drilling through solid rock. So when they're hitting those other materials, it causes damage and it's at no fault of the driller. They don't know what they're drilling into. Right. So you have this <clears throat> possibly delicate balance between needing raw power and a very delicate touch. So for the final stretch, they have to dig partially by, by hand. hand. Yeah. Rat hole mining is a very primitive form of mining that you'll find in some parts of India. Woof. It's essentially mining by hand, usually in very cramped spaces, tunnels that are only big enough for one person to work. There's one man that I know. I'm, I don't get tunnel. claustrophobic. Another man huh? clears I'm not the claustrophobic. That would bother me. I'm not either, but that would bother me. A dozen of these so-called rat miners were brought in and worked on a rotation to push through the final few meters of the rescue tunnel. My word. As you might imagine, it's very slow and incredibly dangerous. Dangerous, you could have a collapse on them yeah, and their yeah. little holes. Here in the basement to just give you a little bit of a sense of what the space and size of the tunnel might feel like. This is about 90 centimeters across, which is almost exactly three feet, not very large. But the idea is once you've managed to break through that tunnel all the way to the other side, and you know you've laid down your pipe right and i bet you the you make you make together, structural support as you go you can begin and the way they do that is by pushing a stretcher on wheels all the way through the tunnel to the other side to the miners a miner would get onto the stretcher and then that stretcher is pulled all the way back that's the basic idea you do that one at a time 41 times 41 miners and the idea is that it doesn't actually take all that long because the distance is so short less than an hour to get everybody out this is an incredible rescue after more than two weeks underground so six, all 41 about 90 seconds per guy tunnel in india how <coughs> it pull to safety 41 ambulances were on standby waiting outside for the 41 miners Helicopters also ready to airlift people out in case of emergency, and a legion of family, friends, and rescuers ready to celebrate. What jubilation must have been there. Wow. 17 days. They so don't look too the worse people, for wear, man. Questions begin. How are the victims? Some have been treated for dysentery. Others yeah. may develop PTSD from being trapped <laughs> yeah. in the ground yeah. for two and a half weeks. Then there's the accountability. Yep. Hopefully they take a step back and, and look at the bigger picture so that, you know, we're not talking about this story again in, you know, six months or nine months. 
Environmentalists and locals have been warning officials repeatedly. There have also been legal cases against this type of construction because uh, the area is very prone to landslides, very prone to major flooding, and the, the soil is not solid. The whole world just watched this country literally dig itself out of a mess. But why did the tunnel cave in? The region is dangerous for digging, prone to landslides. But was this unavoidable? Why didn't the tunnel have an emergency exit? India's highway authority is carrying out an audit now of 29 similar tunnels, where building is still currently in progress. Because this story had a happy ending, but they don't want this to happen again. Great video. Very well informed. Yeah. Straight to the facts. He did a spectacular job. Yeah, great job. I Bye. loved all the simulations he gave to us. Yeah, the story, yeah. you know, the, the the whiteboard. What an awful, awful thing that happened. Right? With a incredibly happy ending. Yeah. I mean, in fact, none of them died. Unbelievable. Like it's that's that's the most incredible thing. Is that none of them died of either from the collapse yeah. or starvation. Well or just the, the awful um because obviously there's piss and shit down there. Absolutely. Or, yeah. Days of it. That's why the dysentery aspect yeah. is a part Everybody of it. It's an infection. It's amazing they didn't run out of oxygen. Yeah. Um. So it's amazing none of them were at the part that collapsed. Yeah. And the other thing, it didn't. it's not just their lives that are saved, but everyone who was involved in this rescue will now remember what they what did work and what didn't work so that if they ever, God forbid, have to do a rescue comparable to this... You get people from that team who can tell you, this worked, this didn't work. Obviously, it changes from terrain to terrain and location to location, but... And I um, didn't know the fact that, and it makes sense, like, you think you can just drill them out, but the fact that they had their steel beam supports in there, there's cars in Freaking there, vehicles! There, there was equipment in there, and obviously, you use different drills for different terrain or different stuff that you're cutting through. But none yeah. of them are meant to cut through, <laughs> like, metal. No. Usually. And I wonder what it was that caused them to, um, it must not be that important. My my thought, looking at what they said, was, did they have the option? And it must have been just way too high of a, a mountain to actually go down to them. Yeah, my guess. He said it wasn't scale, but when he drew the thing on the whiteboard, <laughs> my literal mind went, well, why don't you just go in? I don't think they had that option. I think I think where they were, what they were in, it was okay. We're gonna we're gonna go, you know, sixty meters in this way versus six hundred meters this way to try to get I, to them from the top. There's probably a much smarter answer than that, though. In terms that, of clearly, it, they went the best route. <laughs> um, if yeah, they, they, if like that was an option, yeah, they would have. And uh, like one, you can't tell the miners where you are. Right, and they're guessing. There's probably a risk of collapse, further collapse sure. over much them. Much worse. Much worse. Yeah, he, it just didn't cover it, and I guess it was just because. Well, yeah, Rick, duh, that wasn't even an option. Yeah. Uh, I, but what an amazing, amazing story. Either of us are engineers. Uh, <laughs> no, I just, I not at all. Um, <laughs> Never clear. My no. my brother though, he is. No, I don't think this. But guy. I have seen over you know my life enough stories of people getting stuck. Whether it's miners, it happen, happens here too, where miners have gotten stuck or in a adults. tunnel. Um, kids getting stuck in tunnels because yeah. they went climbing down into it and they shouldn't have gone in there. Yeah. So I've heard similar kinds of rescue stories and the 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 things they have to deal with. But I'm so glad. what a what a miracle! I'm so glad we got a happy ending. Yeah, and thank you for whoever recommended this because that was a really great, informative video. Absolutely. Uh, anything else we need to know about it, please let us know down below.